and welcome back folks, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout. We're still in Vault 15, together with Ian. Still wearing his leather jacket and just a quick lo lo look at our stats, we're level 2. Um, yeah, we are specializing in unarmed combat right now with a view towards energy weapons. So let us proceed. Um, yeah, we're we're looking for a water chip here in this vault fifth in, in this vault, which is the vault number fifteen. And as you can see, it's quite badly. Uh, most equipment is quite badly damaged, so our chances of finding a water chip in here are probably quite slim. And if we did find a water chip in here, then the game would probably end anyway. So we can guess that we won't find a water chip in here, but let us proceed and assume that we might actually do, um, might actually find a water chip. And I can't talk to Ian in combat. Let us get rid of this target that is out of range. Let us get rid of this target. Okay, let us um, go for targeted hit, targeted hit. Hard to pronounce. It's always good if you um, if you hit a creature on the head and you get a critical hit. It will often knock the creature unconscious or right out kill it. Not so in this case. Even we got a critical hit. Um, if we would do my damage, then maybe this would have actually killed him. We don't have any more action points, so let us end the turn. And Ian killed it. Okay, let us talk to Ian. Yeah, we get 50 experience points for that. Okay, let us discuss um, our combat tactics. Not combat... Yeah. Let us change um, your formation. I want you to stay close. And actually walk right now, because I don't want him to um, stray too far from me, even though I'm sure he will do so. Because Ian, and the next enemy, those are called pick rats by the way. Let us go again for the head, which has a 89% chance of hitting. Didn't get a critical hit. Um, this time. Let's again go for the head. Okay, we didn't get a critical hit either, but interestingly, um, the turn has ended and the um, the pig rod was not able to attack us in this in its um, turn. Now it's dead. Pigwood Pigred was critically hit in the head for six points, squashing the warden skull like a wet paper bag. And by the way, if these um, combat descriptions sound familiar to you, it's probably because um, they are quite similar to the des combat descriptions in Fallout's predecessor, spiritual predecessor Wasteland. Which is alluded to in several um, instances, instances here in this game. And this time we killed it in just one hit, which um, shows why it's useful to target the head. Okay, let's just not care about targeted hitting for a rat. Yes, Wasteland um, was a game that was released in the 80s, I think late 80s. And except the graphics, it's actually very, very similar to this game. So you could actually say that Fallout is just a remake of Wasteland. Um, but I have never played it, so maybe... Um, well, I've, I've only watched some vi Let's Plays of it. Um, some videos so but it, it looked very similar and I've played a bit of it okay 
And I've contradicted myself now at least one time. Okay. We've earned 25 experience points for being successful in combat. Let us explore this room. There are some bones on a very large pile of bleached bones. Which is curious um, since there's no sun in here. Okay. Very large pile of bleached bones. You cannot determine the species of the dead critters. And there's another thing. 10 mm armor piercing ammunition. And some cave wall. Um, I will not examine it, this cave wall for the following reason. Um, last time I did this, the game crashed, so I will not risk the game crashing and me having to start uh, this recording all over again. That is okay. There's nothing else here. It seems that is worth our attention. So let's move on. There's something else that's worth our attention, namely a solitary rat. That's now dead. Okay. And we can't end combat because they are. Uh, why can't we end combat? Okay. There are some enemies clearly, but they are. They're too far away, actually. Uh, what are you talking about, Ian? Or more, specif more specifically, whose ass exactly do you want to kick? Okay, anyway. Um... Let us loot these lockers. These lockers, lockers contain some dynamite. A high explosive consisting of nitroglycerin mixed with the absorbent substance, substance Kieselgur. A German word. Includes a timer. Yeah, commonly referred to as dynamite. Um, the funny thing about dynamite in this game is, so... Okay, we can try this with Ian. Um, the way you exchange items with your companions in this game is you steal things from them or rather steal things onto them. For instance, I could give Ian all my rocks, even though that's pointless, so I will take them back. Um, and I could implant this bomb on him and set the timer before, and then it would explode on him and hence kill him. Of course, you wouldn't, don't want to do that with your companions, but you want to do uh, no. you want to do that sometimes with enemies. That's a good way to get rid of um, enemies sometimes. Let us actually. Um, I want to try something. I'm not sure whether you can actually give something to your companion in the bartering screen. Um, let us. Okay, I'm sure you will accept. So we, we, if you just um, trade that for nothing, then I'm sure he will accept that. But let's see if we can get that gun. No, okay. So that's the problem with the um, bartering mechanic. You, you can't take things from your companion, but you can give things to your companion. But using the steel skill, um, you can also take things from them. Okay. Yeah, nothing, never mind. Um, I don't want him to switch to that weapon. Simply because um, ranged weapons have the bad side effect that sometimes your companion hits you. Okay, let us deal with these pick rats and one hat, not one hat, one hit. Um, doing only six damage but still killing it. So sometimes, um, yeah, even... Wait, what did just... Was that Ian that attacked me? 
Yeah, and sometimes you can get critically hit um, for one hit point, which is sort of strange. I think it... I'm not sure, actually, um, but I think it was actually Ian that hit me. And Ian is incapable of uh, killing solitary rat. Hooray, hooray Ian. Okay. And the rat was killed and then the combat mechanic was again triggered. Okay, now the combat mechanic got triggered again. I can't end combat because of that rat probably. Okay, rat critically missed. Lost two hit points, knocked down <laughs> and hurt herself. Okay. Interesting to learn that this is a female rat. And now it's a dead female rat. And we gain 75 points in experience. Hooray! It seems that the command and control center is buried under even more rock. We'll have to look for the water chip elsewhere. Who would have thought? And we gain 500 points in experience. And there's a crowbar. That sort of not at all looks like a crowbar. But it's a crowbar. Which actually counts... Um, probably counts as a melee weapon. And does... 3 to 16 points of damage versus. Hmm. I think it counts as a melee weapon. Probably, okay. We can sell that uh, crowbar later. But there are some more rats that we need to take care of. And some pig rats too. Come back, little piggy. Uh, do you see that? Yeah, that's... Um, that is something you might want to be scared about. At least if you do the section all by yourself. When I first played this game... Um, I think I actually died in here. Doing this section uh, alone is actually quite tough. Also, my character was not very well optimized. And Ian does not seem to bother helping us at all. Yeah, never. Don't don't bother with uh, helping me, Ian. I'm. I got this covered. Okay, where are you? Okay, he's trying to attack that pig rat. Unsuccessfully. And now Ian has pulled this... Um, I think they're called mole rats. Okay, that was... That was very smart, Ian. And when we can, and when we come back, folks, um, I'm sure Ian will do, will continue to do smart things. So until next time, folks. Until then.